So, alright, okay. Uh, here's another OBS test, this time with War Thunder. Uh, this is actually the second test because the first test I actually found out that the game audio was too loud and you couldn't hear me over the gameplay. So, we are going to play arcade battles with Russian airplanes. I know you all like those, even though they're rumored to be a bit OP. And I'm guessing some cases that's true. Got on a ground strike map, taking out the MiG 334 with uh, two 20 millimeter cannons loaded with multi roll uh, rounds. And let's get in. Uh, so the first test actually um, was in air domination, which I don't know about you, but I, I actually really don't like what's that DFA do. Oh my god, is he actually shooting? Team boss? Yes, he is. No, he's, no, he's trying out his load out, I guess. What the heck? Are we getting shot? Okay. He got a teammate, bomber. I don't know if going right down the middle is a good idea, but it's too late to change now, I guess. <laughs> Um, okay, let's engage the people. I've actually not really seen this airplane flown many times. The people hunted it. But I really don't know what these things That's what I'm so. Oh, it's an air cobra, never mind, okay, I got, um, confused by the name. Because we're in a cat battle, so... <laughs> Everyone's trying to get RP, even though they're shooting at their own teammate to get to the enemy. But we got amazing 20mm scanner, which... Take down enemy, like... A hot knife in a battle. Of course, we got an I-16 behind us, which, I was, as I've said in the previous test, it's a pretty annoying aircraft. It's small, it's movable, it's fast, and has a pretty high fire rate with these machine guns. So, loaded with the right ammo, it can set you on fire pretty fast. We're getting chased by a fork wolf, the I 16 broke off, I guess. Yeah, he's on to another teammate. Let's try to find a teammate so he can help us. I mean, that's what a team does, right? Okay, no way to this. Uh, I cannot tell turn an I 16, that's for sure. Uh, even um, also because the MiG-3 34, even though it's not classified as a heavy fighter, it's pretty heavy feeding, I guess. There we go. Look at that broke wolf bro. Yes, it broke up. But I think I'm gonna try and land it and repair my aircraft. Oh, holy crap! Damn. Um, okay, K16. This guy. I was it K? No, K K I 61. Did he crash? I don't see. It. There we go. Of course, I'm reloading my cannon, so that's one bad thing about this airplane because they last very nice. Cannon but they take 40 seconds to wiggle which in an air battle is pretty dangerous I don't know if one of them oh, one is grinding now I've seen the flag shoot up at the bombers uh, being bombed away getting repaired is an impact a nice feeling so I'm gonna stay away from that I mean look at that oh <laughs> one I've got the fuselage. Holy shit. You can see right through it. 
So, uh, looks like we are getting shot at. No, uh, behind? On the Wellington? Really? Can you shoot three this far away? Holy crap. But the Wellington is pretty fragile as a bomb. So, these 20 mils would do nicely against them. Of course. Ah, uh, that Donia is probably going to crack me. What is he focused about the ground target? Uh, actually, I'm going to try and reset. That's way too late. I mean, being. Even though I said this before, it's not classified as a heavy fighter, but it does feel like one. So the acceleration isn't quite up to par with some stuff actually got him got him. that well done actually did he climb back up? I don't see him but he are to kill I guess see I mean I cannot turn fast enough he's a bomber it should be having even more turning issues than me but uh, and then uh, of course if you run out of cannon ammo you have to reload and that's 40 second reload time oh my god I think it's actually lower for me because I have some crew that is added to that is uh, trained actually to reload faster but it looks like they're pretty much all spawning in bombers to take care of ground uh, bases, targets and try to bomb our airbase which is I mean it's not exactly a wrong tactic but oh my god will you please die there we go I had to, to waste the second full load on this guy. Am I sure you're really considering uh, landing? I mean, there's not much people on there. Yeah, let's try landing. Why not? Landing here and collapse because I'm too much of an angle. But should be nice. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Something in my minimap. Looks like they're focusing. Oh, 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 there we go. That's the best landing ever. There we go. I usually do much better landings actually, but we're on arcade, so why the hell not? Uh, okay, it's NATO. Let me see. That thing has pretty nasty cannons actually. And it can be loaded with rockets, so as long as it doesn't come here we're pretty good, even though the game is about to end, so I guess this was one of those games where <laughs> I focused on one aircraft. Which I tend to do actually because that means more research points. Yeah. Looks like he tries to go out. He's trying to get away. We're taking off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There's no one really close to our airfield except for the SM 79. Though it's pretty high up, so. Oh, we actually won! Nice! Damn, that was a close one. Crap, yes, finally. So I guess <laughs> this was a game that in which we thought, talked about the MiG-34. Which is a hey, nice airplane actually. So And uh, people are messaging, messaging me on... Uh, Team 6, I uh, better stop recording for now, anyway...
We are third on our team. Pretty nice stuff. Researching, there we go, now on Steam. And let this spam begins. So I'ma stop recording for now. Uh we talked about uh, the me 34 strengths and weaknesses. It's a really nice aircraft, I like it. So if you enjoy War Thunder gameplay, stay tuned for more. Because I really love this game in the noob and I'll be playing arcade mode. So I actually spaded it. Nice. Anyways, see you next time.